Do you believe in magic, children? Who said no? Well, let me show you something where I come from. Up here in the far north, right around Christmas time, strange lights dance over the treetops to a rhythm of their own. But the real magic is down here in the forests which cover my land. The magic is in what the forests give to us. Since ancient times, wood has given us shelter from the cold, the forest berries and plants have fed us, and their medicines have kept us healthy. The forest is also home to the most amazing creatures, like my trusty reindeer here. Forests are a truly magical gift. They are the gift of life. Rovaniemi, in the north of Finland, is home to Santa's main post office, which receives and responds to upwards of half a million letters to Santa each year. But Santa is taking time out from his busy schedule to teach this group of children at a local school about the importance of forests. Forests are a precious gift. They provide us with wood that we use for building, paper and fuel. They also provide us with food and drinking water and help slow climate change. Look around you, wood and wood products are everywhere. The forests also are home to animals like bears, wolves, my reindeer and many other species. But the forests need to be looked after to ensure they are a gift that can keep on giving. Here, in the far north of Europe, forests have been sustainably managed for decades. Wherever trees are being harvested from the forest, care is taken to ensure that the forest continues to thrive. Among the many products that can be made from wood are toys. This Finnish toy company manufactures children's playground equipment from wood, sustainably sourced from Finland's forests. The wood itself, it's a re renewable material. And when we harvest the wood here in Finland, we always replant a new, new tree. And so it's in, in that sense, there is always a new forest growing for the future generations. Family homes in Finland have also traditionally been constructed out of wood. Now, wood is being used to create more modern buildings, such as the new Haltia Nature Center inside the Nuxio National Park on the outskirts of Helsinki. People in Europe are increasingly conscious about the importance of environment and this has driven uh, the improvement of sustainable forest management as well as the innovative ways of using these forest resources. Actually, contrary to the popular belief, European forests are thriving, they are healthy and they are growing in size. Moreover, they provide 4 million people with income and employment. But in many other parts of the world, forests are not looked after as well as they should be. You children are the next generation. You need to ensure that our forests continue to be looked after because the best gift we can give each other now and every Christmas is a healthy planet. Looking after the forests is a key part of that. Half an hour from the Finnish capital Helsinki, inside the Nuxio National Park, lies the newly opened Haltia Nature Center, an impressive example of Finnish innovation in wooden construction. While Finland has one of the largest shares of strictly protected forests in Europe, the majority of her forests get utilized in a sustainable way. Wood is used in more than 80% of family homes in Finland, and recently innovations are being seen in the size and shape that wooden structures are allowed to take. In addition to the Finnish Nature Center Haltia, we have several very ambitious ongoing projects and projects due to commence construction next year, including Wood City, a 28,000 square meter 
wooden complex comprising of uh, apartment blocks, hotel and office building. The, the, the key reasons why we use wood as a construction material are that it's 100% renewable. It also speeds up the total construction process quite radically and it clearly reduces the CO2 emissions. Environmentally friendly living is something that is becoming increasingly important to a growing number of European citizens. Sami Selye, his wife Mario and their children live in this modern wooden house just outside Helsinki city centre. We choose wood, uh, our building material, because it was environmental friendly. It's, it's the natural way to build the houses and uh, the quality of the air for the living inside of this kind of the house is the best for the, all the research, what has been done. So that was the main reason and we showed to everybody building this house that the wood can be quite modern. Finland produces a large amount of its renewable energy from wood. For example, electricity, produced as a byproduct of the pulp making process, is made available to the local and national grids. Furthermore, one of Finland's largest companies within the forest sector has been investing heavily in wood-based biofuels for transport. UPM aims to become a major player in advanced biofuels for transportation. In 2012, we started to build up a plant which is using 100% wood-based raw material. Once ready, this biorefinery will produce UPM Bioverno, which is a renewable diesel, reducing significantly greenhouse gas emissions compared to the fossil fuels. Industry purchases much of the wood needed for producing timber, pulp and paper and other products from ordinary Finnish families. In Finland, one in five families own forest with private ownership rights covering two-thirds of Finland's forests. Family forestry can be a profitable business, and so the economic benefits of forest industry are widespread. Another economic benefit is that forest industry directly employs 70,000 people. While many work for large-scale industry, the country boasts a number of small, successful businesses, like this one making high-quality wooden playground equipment, found in playgrounds across Finland and around the world. The wood itself, it's a re renewable material. And when we harvest the wood here in Finland, we always replant a new, new tree. And so it's, uh, in, in that sense, there's always a new forest growing for the future generations. Strict laws and voluntary forest certification are in place to ensure that the ecological footprint of Finland's forest industry is kept as small as possible. Here, at this logging site, they're using state-of-the-art logging machinery, enabling them to selectively log with minimal disruption to the surrounding forest. And whenever trees are cut down, the law dictates that new trees must be planted. It is extremely important that our forests are sustainably managed. We have the national forest program, modern legislation and financial incentives to ensure biodiversity and regeneration of forests. We have a long tradition in forest sector. We have a lot of good products, but we also need new products. In this laboratory at Aalto University on the outskirts of Helsinki, one such innovative product is being developed from birch sap. Once mass-produced, this nanofibrillar cellulose film will make it possible to conduct different medical tests quickly and easily. The film is impregnated with biochemical substances, which will react with whichever fluid it's being used to test to change its color, indicating the test result. At Helsinki's Tula Hospital, another medical innovation, this time made from wood chips, is already being put to use. Okay, so now I'm using a new uh, novel uh, cast. It's made of wood chips and it's a biodegradable cast. It's completely non-toxic. And you can see that all the pieces we are cutting away, they are going to uh, be reused. So if you have another patient, you can use this piece to, to that patient. And it's really easy to mold. Uh, it's completely three-dimensional moldable uh, and will suit the, the patient's anatomy perfectly. To ensure continued innovation within Finland's forest sector, 
It's crucial that the next generation understand their importance. Forest sector representatives are currently touring 300 secondary schools across the country, bringing with them a variety of traditional and more innovative forest products. They've come to talk about the importance of forestry and the professional opportunities it offers. Their goal? To motivate these young people to get involved. One forest product that many school children across Finland are already familiar with is xylitol, made from birch sugar. Children in some schools are given free xylitol chewing gum after lunch, recommended by the National Dentists Association for reducing cavities. Finland may be leading the way in forest innovations, but there is nothing to stop the rest of Europe from following suit. So forests in Europe are thriving. They are in good health, they are increasing in volume and area. For the last 20 years, we've got an increase about, of about 17 million hectares, which is about twice the size of Portugal. In addition, they provide employment uh, to 4 million people in Europe. So forests offer environmental services like recreation, clean air and water, but also carbon storage for um, climate change mitigation and, of course, biodiversity conservation. The sustainable use of forest and uh, the innovative use of forest is actually good news for European economies, for their people and, of course, for the environment. European legislators and forest industry have already embraced the concept of sustainability. The hope now is that they will use the important technological progress being made in countries like Finland to place forests at the forefront of a green economic future for Europe. A future in which forests play a significant role in sustaining economies through the products and services they provide.